In this how-to video, we're going to show you how to use a LGB turnout with an LGB turnout motor 12010 and a decoder 55524. In the first step, here you see the little decoder. It's MFX and DCC capable. And we're going to take our track power. And there are two clips. And it's pretty easy to put the cables inside the decoder. Use a screwdriver to tighten it up. And the second cable. And we see two pins. And the pins go directly in the opening of the turnout motor. And we also tighten the two screws of the turnout motor. Now the turnout motor is already ready to function. In the next step, we're going to go ahead and connect the turnout motor on the turnout. You can do it on this side and also on the other side. Then we have two little screws to connect the turnout motor to the turnout. In the next step, we're going to connect the turnout motor with decoder to the CS3+. Plus. We can do it in the DCC format, but in this case, we're going to use the MFX format, which will register the decoder automatically with the CS3. We're going to go to Edit and search for MFX article. And then you can choose, do you want it to get a new address or keep the current address? We're going to select get a new address. Then you see this menu, it's obviously uh, in German on this example. And it announces that it found a new MFX decoder and it reads the article. And now you can see the symbol is already appearing on the CS3 screen. And interesting enough, it shows for a right-hand turnout and we actually have a left-hand turnout. So in the next step, I'll show you how to modify, how to change that. Now we're done with the registration of the new turnout and we can see if it actually switches. It does. And now we have to modify it. So we go to menu, edit, the article list. And the first thing we're going to do is to change the symbol, that blue icon on top, and we're going to select the left turnout links on this uh, screen. And we see it still functions correctly, and now it's the left turnout. Now we introduce one more problem. The turnout is actually straight, and now it's curved, but the symbol is exactly opposite. This actually happened because we mounted the turnout decoder and motor on the other side of the turnout. So we're going to change this in the central station. So we're going to go to the bottom right, to the little triangle, and we get to this advanced screen. The central station is actually going to read the settings of the decoder, and then we see the uh, three little stripes. I call it the hamburger menu on the top right. You click on it, and then you can click on output. And now you get this screen. It's probably going to be in German, but uh, UMK is what you want to check, and that stands for Umkehr, or uh, reverse direction. So we can get out of the menu, and now we can see if the turnout is actually uh, clicking or switching correctly. And it does function now the way it should. So we showed you how to connect a turnout decoder to the turnout motor, how to connect it to the track, and then how to register it with or to the central station 3. We also showed you how you can change the symbol from right hand turnout to left hand turnout and how to flip the direction if the, the symbol on the screen does not correspond with the actual position of the turnout.
Finally, a quick look at a DOS, though, a, a Luxembourg double-decker train uh, that I shot a while back in uh, Koblenz. Hope this video was useful, and see you next time.